Hi everybody listen Eagles from around the world. I would like to thank to our followers. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe in order to get new lessons and mission stories as well. This week we've got an important topic, crisis of leadership. The lesson is not divided into four main chapters that I want to share with you. The context of the vision, the holiness of God, the transformation of Isaiah, the commission, the message. The context of the vision. Now the rest of the ox of Isaiah, from first to last, the prophet Isaiah the son of Amoz wrote 2 Chronicles chapter 26 verse 22. Isaiah was a faithful servant of God. He was given great skills. He was a good strategist, builder, and farmer. Nevertheless, he wanted to be more than God had made him. He wanted to do priestly tasks, and God punished him with leprosy. The rest of the people seemed to be infected by a moral leprosy. They needed Isaiah to lead them to the only holy, pure, immortal, and perfect king. The holiness of God. In Isaiah chapter 6 verse 3 we read, And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. Isaiah wanted to come before God, and he was hurt by his holiness. God came before Isaiah, and he was transformed by his holiness. God was seated on a high and sublime throne. His presence covered everything. The doors were shaking, and the temple was filled with smoke. There were flaming beings, seraph means the burning one, around him that praised him and proclaimed his holiness. The message of the vision was clear, God is holy and demands holiness. Isaiah's faith was strengthened like Ezekiel's, Daniel's, and John's. The transformation of Isaiah. Smoke filled the most holy place every day of atonement, so the priest was hidden from God's glory. The vision was remarkably similar, so Isaiah felt judged and condemned. The live coal was taken from the golden altar where interceding incense was burning. This represented Jesus' intercession. He is the only one who can forgive our sins and transform us. The Commission Also, I heard the voice of the Lord, saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, Here am I. Send me. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8 after being comforted by God's forgiveness, Isaiah offered to fulfill any mission God would call him to fulfill. Paul encouraged us to confidently come to the sanctuary before the throne of God. There we'll find grace because Jesus is interceding for us. After all, we'll find comfort and strength in the heavenly sanctuary that will help us overcome our afflictions and carry out our mission. The Message Brother and sisters, when we read in John chapter 3 verse 6 and 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9, we see that God wants everyone to repent and be saved. He is constantly sending reprimanding messages through his messengers. Every believer may be a messenger. You and I are messengers of God. There are two types of response to these messages, acceptance or rejection. The more we reject these messages, the more our heart hardens like Pharaoh's. Our ears and eyes gradually shut as we refuse to listen. Those who accept the message are called Holy Seed. Are you to respond yes to God's message? My God bless you and keep you holy. Amen.